Hello, friends. Glenda Mollett here, and welcome to my craft room. Tonight, we are doing another fun fold. It is Thursday, and it is Thursday Thoughts. Today is August the 31st, the last day of summer. Oh, my goodness, where did that time go? Can't believe it is the end of our summer. Okay, so tonight I'm going to be doing a color card with you. Um, it's quite easy. I got mung on my table. Just let me remove it before I flip you around. <laughs> okay, so um, flip you around and I'll, hello, Facebook user. Uh-oh. Facebook is not showing. Oh, there it is. Jennifer Pike. Hello. Okay, so let's flip you around. I don't know why it didn't flip. There's the card that we're going to make today. Called a collar card. And I did this with my team a few um, weeks ago. Hi, Debbie. I did it with my team a few weeks ago, and they decided that they didn't want me to put anything up here in the top. So. When we get that done today, we're going to see what y'all have to say, whether we're going to stamp up in there or whether we're not. So the inside, I just used some of the designer paper. And then on the envelope, I stamped the Cheerful Daisy. So my preference is to put Cheerful Daisies along the top, but we'll see what everybody else has to say. Oh, my sign is getting a little worse for the wear there. All right, people are starting to show up. So I did a template for this. I do this for all of my fun folds now because then I have them all in a box. And when I want to make a fun fold, I just flip through them. And if I'm smart, sometimes I even write on the back the number of the card that I created. So I'm just going to take my pen here and I'm going to write on here 4829. That tells me that's my control number of the card that I made with this. So if somebody says to me, what did you use that fun fold for? I can go to 4829 and I can tell them. Oh, another Facebook user. Let's see who that is. Hi, Marsha. Okay, so I put the recipe for this in um, the VIP group yesterday and today. So you have... Um, the recipe if you want to create this card and I also put it in the description of the video tonight so piece of designer paper that is 12 by five and a half so that's your base that's this part 12 inches long by five and a half inches wide then you score it at four and eight then you score measure down two and a half inches from the top and score from that two and a half inch mark up to your four inches and from this four two and a half inch mark up to the eight inch where the eight inch score is now don't worry about this that i'm going so fast i'm going to do this with you on the real one i'm just showing you so that's all there is to this card so then you fold it fold the collar down fold the front in and fold the collar down. That's it. And now you've used a half a sheet of designer paper. I was just talking to Janet this afternoon. Hi, Wendy. Hey, Connie. Norma. Oh, good. Marilyn's there. Everybody's in the pool tonight. So I was talking to Janet this afternoon and she said she's using up designer paper. This is a really good way to use that paper because number one, you're using half a sheet. So you make two cards and you've used a whole sheet of designer paper and you get to see both sides of the paper. Some of our papers are so pretty that I don't know which side I want to use and I hate covering it up, but this way you don't have to. All right. So that's, that's the, the gist of this card. Oh, I wish Dreamyard would show me your guys' names. If I was smart, I'd have another device in front of me but you know that would mean i'd have to have three devices and i don't want to go there 
Okay, so I'm going to use a piece of, this is, what's that designer? It's not the Cheerful Daisy. I used the Daisy one on here. This is that oh, earthen elegance. That's what it is. I went too fast. It's okay. I'm going to go over it again. Don't worry, Marsha. I'm going over it again because I was just showing it to you in my, in my template. So a piece of designer paper, this is Earth and Elegance, and it is 12 inches by five and a half. Now don't worry about the measurements because if you go up to the description of the video up there, I put them all in there. I'm not having issues with my internet connection. Who is that? Jennifer. Oh, no. Okay, so you need that. And I'll do all the scoring and everything with you as soon as I go through everything. Then a piece of lemon lolly that is five and a quarter by four. Hi, Carmen. Carmen's name I get to see. I don't know why I see only certain people. Now, because when I did it with my team, they didn't want to see the white up there. That's why your white for your inside is three and a half by four. So it's going to go in there like that. Then I have a piece of lemon lolly that is three by five to do the die cuts. Me, Valerie. <laughs> okay. And a, another piece of white that is three and a half by five and a half. And this one, I have adhesive sheet on because that's going to cut out the rest of the daisy bits. This one is two by five and a half, no adhesive sheet because I'm going to cut out some of these twig leaf things. And I decided to use Lost Lagoon two by three and a half to do more of the leaves. And then an itty bitty piece of white that is five eighths by one and a quarter. And that's for the sentiment. Okay, so those are all the, the measurements. I am going to use pecan pie and lemon lolly. No, I'm not. I'm going to use lemon lolly and lost lagoon. Nope. Pretty Peacock. We'll do the, the sentiment in Pretty Peacock. And I am using the Cheerful Daisies stamp set, the coordinating dies. The sentiment comes from the new Sparkling Snowflakes stamp set that's available on the 6th of September. And then I'm going to finish off with some 2023 20, to 25 in color dots. Okay, so get your five and a half by 12 inch piece of designer paper and your scoreboard. I have an elastic on my arm because I've been taking pictures for my BOGO sale and it was driving me crazy. So my BOGO sale is scheduled for September and I'm almost there getting ready. Hey, does everybody know what a BOGO sale is? Comment, comment if and let me know. Do you know what a BOGO sale is? Do you want me to explain what a BOGO sale is? I'm happy to do that. Okay, my scoreboard. Now, when I'm doing fun folds and um, 3D boxes and stuff, I prefer to use my score tool rather than my... Um, paper trimmer because this is more accurate buy one get one no buy one get one marcia says is it buy one get one half price i know when in september okay that was valerie bogo is buy one get one so i have all of my retired stuff let me show you my face while i explain this to you Yes, who was that smart person that said that? Yes, Jennifer, that's exactly right. 
Okay, so I have all of my retired stuff um, priced out and say, and you go through it and you buy the retired stuff. So say you buy, you say you want $100 worth of my retired stuff. Then you go to the, I'm doing it in September so you can do it from the new catalog. So then you go to the new catalog or the annual catalog or the clearance rack or uh, online exclusives or any of the kits and you say, I want this amount, this and this and this, and it adds up to at least $100. You can buy more if you want. I would love that. <laughs> so $100 worth of retired stuff, $100 worth of new stuff. You place your order or I place your order for the new stuff. So the $100 is before shipping and tax. Okay. So you say, I want this $100 worth of stuff. And either you put your order in using my host code or I put it in for you. I'm happy to do that. And then you get this $100 stack of stuff from the retired stuff for free. All it costs you is the postage to get it to you. So I, I always try to send it as cheaply as I can. I'll bundle everything up and weigh it. And then I tell you how much your postage is. You send that amount to me in an e-transfer. And then I take it to the post office and off it goes. So your retired stuff costs you the amount of the postage. So let me tell you, cram as much retired stuff as you can into that box. Because one of those um, flat rate boxes is around $20. And I can get five pounds worth of stuff in there. So cram that as big as you can and then go over and buy from the, the new catalog. The new catalog stuff ships direct to you. Your um, retired stuff goes from me to you. And you it's just like Christmas. You get all that stuff for free. It's so fun. This is like the fourth or fifth year I've done this. And I love it. I love giving this stuff away. And the reason I, there's two reasons I do, I'm doing it in September. One reason is um, because then you can order from the new catalog, the holiday mini. And the other reason is um, because it helps me get that last push to the incentive trip. And unfortunately, it means international cannot participate, Connie. I'm sorry. Nope. It does. Unfortunately, I can't sell across borders, so I don't have any control over it. It is, it's fun and I love it. And it's going to be in person and it's going to be online. So, and I'm three quarters of the way through doing the pictures. Okay. So we have five and a half by 12 and a half. We're going to score it at four inches and at eight inches. Who says they want to go to Disney? Oh, Jennifer. Yeah, I'm still working on Mexico. So score at four inches and eight inches and then take it out of your score tool. And get your ruler and a pencil. Now, the first thing I do is take something and put this at the top. So I know which is the top of my paper. Because when you measure down two and a half inches, it's not in the center. So you have to be aware of where the top of your paper is. Okay, so there's the top. And I'm going to me measure down two and a half inches and mark it. Now I'm going to flip it around like this. This is where you get, conf I got confused. So that's why the tape is there. Now I'm going to measure down from the top two and a half inches and put a pencil mark there. Okay, is anybody doing this along with me? Am I doing it slow enough? Are you guys keeping up with me? Is anybody crafting along with me? 
Okay, so now we've got two score lines here. We've measured down two and a half inches from the top and down two and a half inches from the top. You're going to make it? Oh, good. Good. Somebody says, no, no, not doing that. Connie's not doing it. <laughs> it's okay. All right, so now I'm going to put that on my um, scoreboard. I've put a dark line right down the middle at six because it helps me when it comes time to do diagonals. So I'm going to put the, the top of the eight, the eight inch mark, and that mark where I've marked it, that pencil mark at two and a half inches. And I'm going to score from the top of that eight inch score line down to my two inch pencil mark. And see why I have that line in my um, scoreboard? Because I can line this up and still do a diagonal. So now I'm going to flip it. And remember, this is the top. So I'm going to take that mark at four inches. And I'm going to put that in the track. And then I'm going to take the pencil mark at the two and a half inches. And I'm going to put it in the bottom of the track and then do my scoring like this. So because I put that piece of post-it tape there, I know which is the top. So you can get really messed up if you don't mark it. And if you go from this pencil mark here to the top of the four inch mark there, you're going to um, have it fold the other way and your collar will be bigger, which is not a big problem unless your, your collar will just be lower, is what I'm trying to say. Carmen's not doing it. Somebody's watching and do it with the replay. Yay. Okay, so we have all of our score lines done now. So that's, there's, there's the piece I just see. We have the score line at four and eight and then our diagonals. And I've already, I glue these down because I don't want them to be flopping around. Okay, so now I'm going to leave that paper there because it just helps me know which is the top. So we're going to fold this in on that four inch mark. And then fold this in on the eight inch mark. Now, when you do that, just make sure that it's not binding. If this, at, put, them, put it in either way. And if it's binding at all, then just slice a little bit off of it. If this is too close to that score line and you're not going to be able to get it closed, then just take a really thin slice off there. You don't like the size of a pin. That's all you want to take off there, just so it doesn't bind. But apparently mine is working. And then I'm going to take this and fold the collar back. There's one. And there's the other one. Now I can take that paper off because now I know which is the top. And you can decide which way you want your card to open. It can go that way or it can go this way. Either way, it works. So now we're going to do the decorations. But let me ask you this question. You see this is blank up here. So now I want to know, do you think I should? So this is going to, this is, um, um, what is this? Lemon lolly five and a quarter by four. And this one, I'm going to have to trim a bit off. I think I had to do that on the original one too, because I don't think it's five and a quarter by four. I think I trimmed a bit off just to make it fit in there. Three quarters. Okay, so it's five and a quarter by three quarters. So I'm going to trim this down a bit. I'll do that. Okay, five and a quarter 
by three and three quarters so that it fits inside that four inch panel like that. So now I want to know when I close this and have that sticking out of the collar, do you like it plain like this one is? Or do you think I should stamp tone on tone daisies on there? That's the question. So in the comments, tell me while I'm doing all the die cuts and everything to finish off the front, tell me um, if you want it plain or you want it stamped. Daisy says somebody. All right. Tone on tone daisies. You guys are so different than my team. My team said no. They wanted it to be um, plain. And I told them I would do what they wanted. All right. So now I'm going to cut that and this. And that, and this, and this, and that. Nope, that's not right. Oh. The good thing I'm looking at this, because that's not right. Okay, that's going to be white. These big ones are going to be lemon lolly. And then I'm going to die cut these out of the white. So this has adhesive sheet on it. And I keep thinking that this is the bottom layer, but that's not right. This is the bottom layer. Oh, people are wanting stamped. One says plain. Who is that rogue person that says plain? Marcia says plain. Well, you know what? We can stamp it and then see what it looks like. And if we don't like it, we can flip it over and put the other side. Okay, so I'm going to run these all through my die cutting machine. As soon as I get them back on the paper. Because, of course, they all move when I put them on. And then these ones. I think I need a new cutting plate. I forgot that this one was cracked. Ah. Okay. So there's those. And there's those. Now this one, I have to do a lot of cutting. One, two, three whites and two lost lagoons. And I only have one die, so talk amongst yourself. Hit those emoji buttons and let Facebook know that you like my, you like my video. Tell me what you did all week. Did you who joined me last night for the walkthrough of all my gifts and swaps from Las Vegas? Anybody on there that's on here now? I showed you a whole bunch of cool stuff. And with all my swaps that I got, I now have enough swaps um that I or fun folds cards for the next I don't know, 20 weeks. That's like a half a year. You like listening to me talk? Oh, Marsha, you're so funny. I natter. I just, which is really bizarre because in reality, I'm an introvert and I do not like talking to people. When I'm in a room full of people, I just sit there and I listen. I like listening to people. I like hearing what they have to say. And I don't say anything. But 
when I'm in my craft room and I'm crafting, it's totally different. You missed it. It was amazing. Who missed it? Who is that person? The replay is there. And I put it up on my YouTube channel too, if you want to watch it. You're watching the replay or you're, you're on YouTube. You can see. Um, you can go back and watch the replay. It was an hour and a half long. There was a lot. I showed all that. Um, all the swaps I got, all the gifts I got, all the clothes I got. Because, you know, Stampin' Up, Stampin Up gave us a t-shirt and some sunglasses. Yes, you have to find me on, on YouTube. Yes, you do. Go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm working on getting, upping my, my viewers. Okay, I'm going to take this out of here. There we go. I'm a little doohickey here. Clean your dyes out, ladies, when, you, when you're finished with them, before you put them away. The only thing I don't clean out is the little white ones in the center. Because if they don't die cut, I'm not... I don't care if they don't die cut. Okay, this goes on there. This goes on there. Who's there? Okay. That die. This die. That. That. And this one. Um, I don't know whether I put the link to my YouTube channel up in the comments or not. Um, and I can't read the comments right now. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. So it was last night at eight o'clock. I was live. If you want to go back and watch it on Facebook or that was the 30th, August the 30th, or I'm looking for my map. There it is. Or you can go to my YouTube channel and watch it. Um, I got a lot of amazing swaps, and I can't wait. Right now, I'm I'm busy working on. I'm having a team. I'm having a team night on the 30th of September, and we're going to have. Oh, it's not a night; it's a day. We're going to make going to do some stamping, and we're going to have potluck lunch, and hubby's going to barbecue. We're going to have fun. So. You still got time to join my team before then, as long as you are a team member by the 29th of September, you can come and join us. Of course, you have to be in Canada to do that. Because I can't have people outside of Canada on my team. With. I wish I could. But that's one of the laws of Stampin' Up! World. In can North America, we can't cross borders. I'm just putting um, Tombow on the back of these branches so that we can add them when time comes. And you all know the trick about putting Tombow on and letting it dry clear. And then it goes tacky like little tiny glue dots. That's only this green one. The one that we sell. It's not the blue one because this one has latex in it, which doesn't work if you're allergic to latex. Just warning you. It's not there. Well, thanks, Connie. Connie's my unofficial secretary. Uh oh. What is going on? Okay, I'm going to put those off to the side to dry while I continue on. Let's get this stamped. I'm going to use um, going to use Pretty Peacock. And I'm thinking that this is crooked. Hang on a sec. It's crooked. Oh, well. 
It is what it is. We're going to stamp Pretty Peacock right there like that. That's it for Pretty Peacock. Now, get Lemon Lolly out and the envelope and my stamping paper. So I don't get it all. Ooh! Did I just put ink all over the back of my card? I did, but you can't tell. Can't tell. You guys won't tell anybody that I put ink on the back of that card, will you? It's a secret between you and me. Okay. Let's... I only have one on my prototype, but I want to add some more daisies on here. Because they're fun. I love daisies. Do you like daisies? Are you a Daisy fan? And I don't mean Daisy Duke. Okay, where's my piece of... Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm going to put some flowers across the top. I remind you of Tamara. How do I remind... You're talking Tamara Bertram, right? So I'm just going to run a row of daisies along the top of that. And then if we decide we don't like them, then I won't use them. Flip it over. I don't know whether Tamara would be impressed knowing that I sound like her. Okay, there we go. You can barely see them. Can you see them? <laughs> oh, who said that? Oh, Jennifer. That's funny. I'll have to tell Tamara that. So we're in the middle of, that's another one of the ta the things that I'm working on. We're in the middle of um, working on our super team event uh, for September. So if you're part of our, one of our teams, a uh, silver sister team, then we're um, every quarter we do um And we call it the SSS, the Silver Sisters Super Team event on Facebook. And I just finished the, the uh, agenda for it today. And we got, we got two more. Um, Two more videos happening than last time. So I'm cutting off those um, leaves there because I don't want them. Now we're going to take this and we're going to line it up there without those going on the, on, I was going to say on the dirt, oh, those going on the dirt and line that one up. And then line this one up. This is the this is the one I find hard because it doesn't go the way I think it should go. There we go. Okay, so any new presenters? Um, well, it's the same presenters that we've had for the past. How long have we been doing this? Because we don't have we're a very exclusive group, and we don't have new members. Well, we've had Andrea, I think, is our newest member. She's been around for a couple of years now. All right. So I also did this one. These are the, the ones that have the embossing on them. And they have adhesive sheet on them so that I can just pop them over top of here. Now, you could go ahead and use your dauber and add some color to the center of those flowers. But I don't like it, so I'm not. So that's what I was working on today, along with the pictures for my BOGO sale. And my, oh, I got an order in today. Oh, if we have time, do you guys want to see some of the new papers? Because I got the rest of the papers in for my paper share today. 
there's still two spots for the paper share if anybody's interested in it. If you are part of my team, you get a discount. Okay, now, where is this going? There we go. I'm going to go right in there. So you get, there's a paper and a ribbon share, and you can choose both or one. Oh, Jennifer's got orders coming too. I will show it. If you guys want me to, I will show it to you. Okay, I'm almost got this all assembled here. And see what I mean about the centers? I don't care if those all those little tiny ones come out of the center there. That's fine with for with me. I don't mind. Somebody says yes, yes. Okay, so I'm just using my my block just to make sure that there's good adhesion because sometimes those adhesive sheets lift. Okay, so we got that all done. And we got all of the branches are done with the glue on them. The sentiment is done. Oh, you know what I didn't prep was the inside pieces. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll put, we'll put some, ah, ah, I just stuck my hand in them. Okay, this one is going to go on the bottom here like this. So I'm going to put a few daisies along the bottom while I'm here. Uh, you know, that's a good question, Wendy. Because I prepped the graphics before I knew that those new, those new papers were coming. So... I would say not yet, but it will. But I can't show you the new papers because we don't have access to ordering those yet. And I haven't got my graphics done for them, but there is some gorgeous. The new papers, Jennifer? No, they're not available till the 6th of September. Everything is happening on the 6th of September. Okay, so we'll put this together and then you can tell me if you want that to show or not. My card base. So I'm going to stick some dimensionals on there because I want that to, to stick up and have a little bit of dimension. So you can leave these um, so that they are open like you can leave them free or you can put glue them down or you can use um, dimensionals. Doesn't matter how you do it because basically this is your card. But I like it. I like the extra dimension of having those up on dimensionals. Who is that? Didn't see me. <laughs> oh, Marcia, you're funny. As demos, we can't order until the 6th. They're not giving us pre-order for the new papers. It'll go live to us at the same time it goes live to the to our customers. Okay, so... I'm not going to attach this yet because I want to know. I want to know. Do you like it with the, the daisies peeking out or do you like it plain? Which one do you prefer? Let me know whether you want me to flip it over and use the plain side or do the tone on tone. Okay, so while you're deciding that, I'm gonna put the front together. 
you need to order something for five dollars before midnight. Oh, <laughs> oh, Jennifer. Yep, order some dimensionals, but put in a a bigger order than that because you'll pay ten ninety five shipping on that. Marcia says plain. Hello, Rosemary says plain. Connie says can't tell. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. Um, Marcia, I don't know. Okay, so this is going to go here like that. So I'm going to take this. This is my, what is this, daisy. And it's going to be flat here where I've already popped it up. And then I'm going to tuck dimensionals underneath there after I put all of the, all of my um, twigs in. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive right there. Like that. So I can stick it in there. Or sort of right about, right about there, I think. Now, I'm not pushing it down hard because I want to be able to slide these underneath. So we'll stick one in here like that. And we'll put that Lost Lagoon one over here. And then we'll stick a white one down here. And put another white one. I like the cheerful daisy paper too. It's really pretty. But I decided that I was going to use this paper instead. Because why not? Okay, there we go. We got those all on there. And that's down now. And I'm going to take my dimensionals. And I use my pokey tool. And I'm just going to slide them underneath here. Now, I could have put them on before I put my daisies onto my card. But I prefer this way because then I know exactly where they're going and I can leave it loose for putting those leaves underneath. Okay. Oh, one more underneath there. So what tool do you have on your table all the time when you're creating a card? One that you can't create without. Do you have one? A favorite? Mine is this pokey tool. And I just make sure that it's right there. My scissors, of course. And the scissors. There we go. Okay. What do you think? Yes? No? I think it's pretty. Okay, let's take some Wink of Stella. And we'll just put some, I'm not going to do it all. I'm just going to put some stripes on the petals. A little bit on the center. Because, you know me, I like Wink of Stella. Hey, now get the in color dots and we're going to use some of the yellow ones look at that is that not absolutely gorgeous and i don't think i'm gonna oh i might put one on there see i put it up there the last time Maybe right there. Oops, get off my phone. Bone folder, yes. Pokey and snips. Yep. Nobody can do without pokies and snips. All right, now we have our sentiment. Down in the corner, where are my big ones? Because it'll go faster with the big ones. 
So it sounds like you guys want me to have the daisy part, the daisy stamps up. And we'll put that right there. Okay, inside pieces. Adhesive on here. Make sure when you put your adhesive on that you go right into your corners. Because otherwise, your corners can lift. There's nothing worse than a card that falls apart. Sometimes my cards and the swap cards I get hang on my inspiration wall for months and months. And you'd be surprised at the number that I have to put back together. Okay, I just need to... This paper is really difficult to figure out where the score lines are because it's got sideways lines on it too. There we go. Ooh, thunder in Alberta. Well, we had lots of rain yesterday, so which was nice because it put all the forest fires out. And today, oh my God, oh, the biggest news in the universe happened today. Our road opened both ways, going each way. It's not closed anymore. I'm so excited. It's like being released from jail, I'm sure. Not that I've been in jail and I know about that, but holy Aunt Jemima, our road is open. It has been closed since June. Well, not completely closed. Single alternating, closed during the day, um, and sometimes closed all day, but open over the night. Yeah, today was it's like, yay, we got a road and it's working again. It is. It's been, it's been a long haul. So now I have this dude. Maybe we should just slip this dude in here. Because, you know, I think he's lonely. And it has adhesive on it, so I can do that. So there, see, I put that in there. Waste not, want not. Yay! All right. So there's the card. That's the collar fold card. Not colorful. Collar fold. Yes, Rosemary, I know. That um, Kennedy Lake was... A huge, huge endeavor. We went through that a couple of times. Okay, I'll get my papers. Because, you know what, I got them right here. And as for the new papers, yes, I will do a share for those two. But it's I don't have a price or anything. I don't even know how many packs of new paper there's going to be. All right. I have to move my machine. Hang on, because I need a I need somewhere to put this paper down. All right. Yeah, there's they're not completely out of there yet, but I think I'm thinking that they kind of want to leave something some of the equipment there just in case. There's five new packages of paper. Oh, good. Thank you, whoever that was that told me there's five. Five? Wendy. Thanks, Wendy. Okay, so this is all about autumn. Six by six, so you get four pieces of each one, and these are photorealistic. So that on one side, isn't that gorgeous? I can't wait to use these with the grove dies and the aspen tree die. Who lost their home at Fort McMurray Wildflowers? Oh, Jennifer, I'm sorry. That sucked. That was, what, two years ago? Okay, so here's the front of it, and there they have foil, gold foiling on the back. So this is going to be awesome paper to use for techniques where you can see both sides of the paper. 
so happy Cameron is open. It's so it has so much traffic from Mid Island Port, and yes, it was a it's a lot of traffic every day on that road. So there we are going down a country lane. 2016. Has it been seven years already? Holy man. Look at that. Oh, God, that's paper's gorgeous. Who's Wendy? No blood allowed in the craft room. Okay, this looks like knitting. And then pretty peacock and gold on the other side. Oops, that one's there. And then, oh, this is looking from a drone down onto the the um, changing trees. That's gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. That is going to make incredible die cuts. And then gold foiling on the other side. That's good. Tamara is a wonderful person. We have some wood grain on one side and pink. So this is Moody Mauve on the other side. And this looks like a, a lovely winter blanket and a cool, cool pattern on the other side. And then we have some gourds and some pumpkins. Oh, that's pretty. I love the golden pretty peacock. Jennifer's originally from Newfoundland. We're planning a trip across Canada next summer. I'm going to Newfoundland. Okay, there's uh, some books. And some gorgeous pattern on the other side. And this is copper clay on the other side oh look at the leaves i know they're not bright and vibrant like they are in the east coast but these are the color of the leaves in our driveway and moody mauve on the back side and then a leather ottoman and another funky pattern on the other side some beautiful leaves <laughs> okay, Jennifer. The beautiful leaves on one side and mossy meadow on the other side. And then this is some more books, old books, and vanilla. So that's the all about autumn. So you will get one of each of these sheets in the paper share. So what the paper share is, is it's designed so that you can figure out, get a little bit of everything and figure out what you really love. And then you can go in and order more if you want. This paper is a must. Marilyn. Saskatchewan is in our... Well, we're going across Canada, so we will be in every province. Don't know for how long and don't know when. We're only just starting to talk about it with some friends. Before COVID, we there was three of us that were going to do it, go across Canada. And I know one is still up for it. I haven't talked to the other one yet. But yes, I'm going to visit my friend Leanne. In Kindersley, definitely going to do that. Okay, so this is Garden Walk Designer Paper. Do you see what I do on the front? I put a, a sticker because when I look at it, I like to see the paper. So to find out what it is, you have to flip it over, but then you can't see the paper. So I put all of that information on the front so then I can see the paper and the information at the same time. Okay, so this is Garden Walk. And this is floral. That's interesting. The other one has 48 sheets in it too. Yes, but that one had four of each. This one's got six of each. Some stripes, 
some more floral. These are really bold colors. That's cool. Another one. That's pretty neat. These are not my colors, just being honest. But I would use them. Lunch at my place or halfway across the schedule. <laughs> I'll put it in the book. Marilyn, I'll put it in the book. Who wants to come with me? Oh, Jennifer. <laughs> All right. This one is like a Christmas theme. And then pattern on the back. And little tiny flowers. And some diagonal stripes on the back. This paper is on your wish list. This detour to Fort McMurray. We don't know where we're going yet. I know where we're going to start. And I want, I know where I want it to end. And then we're going to come back again too. But we're going to do this going east. And then we'll do this coming back. We might even go down through the states and come up that way. Okay, this is Mary Bold and Bright designer paper. See, I haven't even opened these yet. I just got them this afternoon when I was in the middle of getting the, doing my stuff that I needed to get done today. My nose is plugged. I've been testing myself because so many people came back from Las Vegas with COVID. And I keep testing myself because I don't want to. I'm praying I don't get it. <laughs> but I've been home four days now and nothing's happened. So, of course, my nose is not plugged because of that. My nose is plugged because it plugs when I'm in my craft room. Okay, so we have some light bulbs. Oh, that reminds me of the Grinch. Why does that remind me of the Grinch? Is that the colors of the Grinch? And then round light bulbs and stripes. Oh, thank you. That paper is on my wish list too. Whim so whimsy and colorful. Okay. Oh, look at the polka dots. Oh, I like those. And then we have fa la 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 la. Oops, don't sing. They'll, Facebook will chastise me. But you know, it's that song where you fa la 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 a lot. Oh, look at that. We've had this pattern before, but it was six by six. This one is nice, like that. How bright. Oh, and love the stars. Bright, bold colors. Oh, more polka dots. I love polka dots. And some red trees with white stars on the other side. So you will get a six by six piece of all of these in the paper share. Stripes. There's some trees. So that's Merry, bold, and bright. So this is the paper that goes with the the bold and bright suite that is all about um, lights, Christmas lights. I don't have that suite. All right. That one. And this is all the dots remind Rosemary of the cartoon character, Little Dot. <laughs> oh, glue in the papers? That's interesting. I'm a, I got a lot of allergies. And it doesn't plug up when I'm in my craft room crafting by myself. It plugs up when I'm doing my Facebook Live. And if it doesn't plug up, then I, then I sneeze and only sneeze during my Facebook Live. It is the weirdest thing. Yes, this is the Make a Difference paper. So $4, 
from every package of this paper sold is going to go to okay help me out here those of you that are demonstrators because it's gone out of my head what canadian group is this paper supporting does anybody remember or should i go and look it up okay so these this paper you can cut out these are the merriest tree dies you can cut this paper out with the merriest tree dies just look at that and the bear punches out with the bear the very cute bear punch see because it goes this way and it goes that way pretty neat eh one two three four five six bears and one two three four five six seven eight nine nine and two half trees that's a lot of stuff on here organizing organizations supporting cheer and providing to those in need yes but there is a specific one that they chose for Canada, and I can't remember what it is. Rosemary, send me your wish list, and I'll make it happen for you on the 6th. Let me just go in here, I'm because now I'm really curious. It's got to be in here. Salvation Army. Okay. So $4 from every package of this paper goes to the Salvation Army. It was in um, the weekly update on Monday, Tuesday, while well, it was Monday night. Okay, so now that you've seen that and you've seen the punch, this is the punch that you can add on to your order when you take my Winter Creative Escape and we're giving you 20% off of the when it's 20% off of this punch. Yep. Okay. Do the dies have stamps that coordinate? They certainly do. There we go. That's the stamp. And there's the very cute. So this is the stamp set that we're going to use for the winter creative escape and the punch. So you'll get this in your goodie bag. Then you can add this on if you want, but you don't need it because you can fussy cut the you can fussy cut the bears. And then this is the stamp set that goes with the tree dies. So this this set is really cool. Okay, let me show you in here because these are the pictures that are 100%. So you can cut out the full tree or, or, hang on, you can cut out that much of the tree or, hang on, you can cut out that much of the tree or, hang on, we're not done yet. You can cut out this much of the tree or hang on one more you can cut out that much of the tree so one two three four five dies for one stamp so you can you can layer them you'd have to stamp it like four times or something so that you could get it to layer but look at that is that not amazing and i just realized i didn't put my sticker in here so i can't tell you how much this bundle is the dies are 51 dollars, but that doesn't help you know how much this bundle is hang on i can't show it to you in our catalog but i can tell you it is What's it called? Marius Trees. Marius Trees bundle is 
Oh, I know why I haven't. Because look, I haven't even processed it yet. It's still sitting in there. Oh my gosh. Apparently, I've been in in a hurry. Okay, let's get to the paper. It is a great price. And you get all those dies. And it's so versatile. And you can cut out the paper, too. <sighs> and $4 goes to Salvation Army, which is near and dear to my heart. Because that's, that's one organization my dad supported when he was alive. Because they helped. They supported him when he was overseas. Okay, so we have that on one side and this on the other. And then we have some berries and twigs and then that on the other side my mom always kept up they dad did a um a monthly donation to salvation army when he was alive but when he passed away my mom did it and when mom passed away i still do it And then we have some pine cones and snowberries. We have a lot of snowberries where I live. Ooh, ooh, that makes my heart happy. Look at that one. Oh, I love it. This is a really cool paper pack. Okay, so that bear and that bear and this bear. So three of the bears on here you can punch out. This one is backwards. But a f I like the cones too. A few years ago, we had um, a deer punch like this, that it was reversed. And there was a really cool way to um, punch out the reverse. And I'm going to have to figure out how to do it again and show you. And some stripes. Ooh, some blue trees. Those are cool. Aha ha. Aha ha. Snowflakes, some green trees, and then some stripes. So that's the walk in the forest. And our designer papers are $17 a package. But if you want just a little bit of it, get my paper share. All right. Oh, holy night. Every time I say that, I want to finish the song off with the stars are brightly shining i'm gonna have to get myself in the mood for christmas because i haven't even started my samples yet for my open house that's happening on the 6th of september which is oh my god that's next week oh lord never done what but you will Holding out for the sweet on the wish list. Okay. This is gorgeous. Can you see the bottom? Look at how beautiful this paper is. And to think I wasn't going to get this. Oh, an open house. Yeah, I have one every catalog. It's called my catalog launch party. And we have a nice... Um, Tone on tonish background on the other side. Oh, like that too. These are um, not your typical card making patterns. These are, oh, that's gorgeous. Oh my Lord, love a duck. Look at that. Stick some um, Wink Estella on that. Whew. Oh. I'm re I really like blue and white in for Christmas. Mirror technique. Um, do you guys like blue and white for Christmas cards? Or are you a traditional red and green? That one's pretty too. This paper is gorgeous. Oof, look at that. It's got a bit of a pattern on the back of it. Oh, look at this. Oh, my Lord. It's going to be difficult to do in a, in a paper share. So that's one, two, three sheets now that I'm going to have to make sure that 
I share the wealth on those. There we go. So if you order this, the pa my paper share and you want six by 12, just let me know that. And it'll be just double the price and I won't cut it into six inch squares. I'll leave it six by 12 for you. Yes, blue and white anytime, but especially at Christmas. I agree, Rosemary. Oh, that's gorgeous. So you can get the six by six. I think it's $35. And you can tell me not, not to cut it. There it is. 86 by six sheets for $35. So if you wanted them done six by 12, it would be $70. And I would leave these ones whole. And then for the six by six, you would just get two sheets of it. Oh, this paper is beautiful. And I've got two spots left in the current one. And then if there's enough interest, um, I will do another one. But two spots, six by six, which would be one spot six by 12. So that means, for instance, this one, you'd get a full half a sheet. So you'd get part of the bottom and part of the top too. And this is, op the registration for that is open until September the 6th. And then I'm placing the order. Okay, so we have the them bones. This is the Halloween one. And I was so excited. I've got it some really cute swap cards made out of this so i thought today i would go in and order them bones yeah they are back they are not available until october was it october september i can't remember the the dyes were so popular let's go see which inventory status report and Bag of Bones, September the 11th. So that's not too bad. You would still have time to do Halloween cards. Okay, so this one, this paper you would cut up and it would give you backgrounds for a bunch of different cards. Or you could use the other side where it says Boo and Eek. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. I would imagine that the, the dies cut this out these guys i don't know about these but i know there's a die that cuts that out that's cool on the other side too so if anybody's interested in getting a share of designer paper let me know and let me know what size you want these are cool headstones oh and a lovely tartan on the other side oh look some dancing ones isn't that cute? And lots of bats. Lots of bats. And some bones on the other side. Oh, this is on your wish list too, Jennifer. And this is the kind of paper where you cut a strip down the middle and then use that as card bases. Oh, it's the same on both sides. And some bats. Bats with eyes. And some blue stripes. And some bats on the other side. So that's the Them Bones designer paper. All right, and we have the glow-in-the-dark paper. Now, if you joined me last night, I turned the lights off when I showed you the card by Sherry that had the glow-in-the-dark paper on it. I won't turn my lights off tonight, but this is glow-in-the-dark paper, so it has a bit of a texture. It kind of feels almost um, suede -y. But it's really cool. It comes six by six sheets. Okay. And last but not least, Melon Mambo and Granny Apple Green. Aren't 
Hi, Jennifer. Are you and I the only two on Facebook joining in? Isn't it great that she is showing us my list? <laughs> Your list is growing. Well, it says there's more than just the two of you, Rosemary, but nobody else is commenting. So I don't know. Maybe they're sleeping. Okay. So Melon Mambo and Granny Apple Green are the colors that they chose to do this Christmas foil on. Look, you can see me. Hi! <laughs> Oh, that pretty, 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 pretty paper. All right. So has anybody got any questions about anything? I'm just going to put this paper back and then it'll be time to say good night. Who is that? Oh, Valerie's still watching. Yay. All right. And thank you for all your comments. Don't forget to hit those emojis. They're down there. If you hover over it, the emojis pop up. And then Facebook knows that you like my video. Hello, Carmen. Thanks for hanging out. Carmen's coming to my team thing on the 30th. All right. I have got things organized. I also have, along with the paper share, I also have a ribbon share. So I'm, I'll show you the ribbons. I'm not going to open them all up, though. But I do have them. I've got the rest of them in today. I always tell myself when we start a new catalog, I'm not going to get everything, and then I end up with most of the stuff anyways. Okay, so balmy blue sparkle ribbon. Calypso coral braided tr linen trim. Black and very vanilla. And... um large check and you can color this and then so that's the top three and then we have the combo it is copper and natural who says they wish jennifer you can do it virtually you're talking my winter creative escape it's happening virtually on the 28th so i'm doing in person on october the 21st and I'm doing it virtually on the 28th. going to be exactly the same thing. The only difference is, here, let me sh do this so you can see me. The only difference between the two is the in-person one, they're getting lunch. And the virtual one is postage included to get all of the stuff to you. Exactly the same thing. We're going to stamp all day on the 28th on Zoom. You can join. You can. Okay, let's go back to the ribbon. Okay, so copper and natural ribbon. And then there is Knight of Navy glitter ribbon. And silver and, oops, this one, silver and white sheer ribbon. And then white iridescent ribbon. So you'll get... You get two yards of each of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one yard each of that. So you get 14 yards of ribbon for $25. Yep, it's true. Okay, so the my winter creative escape. Let me show you. Let me just, there is a link. There is a link. Do you get my newsletter? Okay, here we go. Creative Escape. This is the in-person one, but it's exactly the same for the virtual one. In-person is the 21st of October. Virtual is the 28th. If you register before the end of tomorrow, you will get three bonus tutorials. Video tutorials. They're all video tutorials. They're not written tutorials. $100. And that gets you kits for six projects, five cards and a 3D box, plus three extra videos. Okay. This is not right anymore. Three extra videos. And if you s register for the early bird by the end of tomorrow, um, then you get three more. So you will get 12 
you could get up to 12 video tutorials. Your goodie bag has the very cute stamp set in it. There's the fly in here. It's driving me insane. Very cute stamp set. And if you have that one already, you can substitute something else. The snowflake sky embossing folder. And if you have that one, you can um, substitute for something else. Everything is substitutable. So here's the snowflake sky embossing folder. Faceted gems trio that you'll use on your projects. Some silver and white sheer ribbon. Some snowflake magic specialty paper. And some winter meadow designer paper. There's going to be draws. There's going to be um, pillow gifts. You can, if you want, you can add on the Very Cute Punch. It's for $17 plus shipping and tax. That's an extra 10% on the bundle price. And you can add on the More Wishes stamp set for a 20% discount. So that's $27.20 and it's 33 dollars 50 with Yes, very cute. What did I say? Did I say something stupid? <laughs> okay, if you signed up for my newsletter, did you sign up in time to get it on? Um, it went out Tuesday morning at 8 o'clock. Okay, let me just go over here, and I'm going to find the link to register. Hang on. Winter Creative Escape. Uno Momento, and I will get you that link. Copy, go over here, go over there, go there, hit enter, there. There's the link to register for the Winter Creative Escape. If you do that before midnight tomorrow, you're going to get the early bird um, videos, tutorials as well. Isn't that exciting? We're, we've been creating, and let me tell you, the projects are going to be amazing. It is, it is this one, very cute. Not very cute, it's very cute, this one. So that's why you can add the punch on for $17 plus shipping and tax because you'll be able to punch out all that paper when you buy it to support the Salvation Army and it punches this out. But if you don't want it, you can always do the punching or fussy cutting. You don't need to, you don't need to punch. Someone lend you a hundred dollars. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yes. So that's what we're using. Um, register before midnight tomorrow night and you'll get three more. And that's going to happen virtually on the 28th and in person on the 21st. And you know what? It's filling up fast. The virtual one won't fill up. We got lots of time. The like because I can have a hundred people in that. The in-person one is filling up fast. So if you live within two hours, hint, hint, Rosemary, you can come and do it with us. Um, you can come and do the in-person one. Lunch, refreshments, goodies, snacks. It's going to be fun. Okay, anybody else got any questions about the paper share or the winter creative escape? I also have my horse and sleigh class that is open, but it closes tomorrow. Registration reg registration for it closes tomorrow too. And there is an in-person and a virtual. All my classes are in-person and virtual. You have either option. And if you're part of my monthly tutorial subscription, you get four. So these are the three cards we're doing in the horse and sleigh class. And this one is the um, bonus one that my subscription people get. Who's going to. Oh, <laughs> Rosemary, if there was more than one person wanted to do it in Tofino, I'd come out and do it. Do I mail the lunch? I could email it to you. Yes, the same price is for the virtual because instead of providing lunch, I'm paying for the postage to get it to you. So, you know, it's not $100 plus $15 postage. It's $100. 
postage included to get all of the kits. And that includes if you pre-order, if you want to add on the punch, it includes the punch too with all that weight. Yes, it is the same price. Who wants to go to Tofino? Oh, Jennifer, we can make a class happen in Tofino. I've got connections there. <laughs> and they've got chocolate. And they've got vegan ice cream. It's a lovely place to go. Yes, Tofino is on the very west coast of Vancouver Island. It is the next stop is Open Ocean. It's um one of the it's BC's premier surfing community. They have World Cup surfing competitions. I can ship your lunch in a cooler. <laughs> <laughs> then you'd have to pay for, for postage to get your stuff to you, Wendy. So it's going to provide yourself with a PBJ and you're better with the postage. Because, you know, if we, if we sent your coffee up, it would get all over your projects. Tofino is a lovely place. And I used to go and do classes there all the time, but. Who's got air mails? Oh, okay. Twilight fan. I'm not a Twilight fan, so I guess I missed that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you are watching the replay, thanks so much. Don't forget to hit those emojis right now before I say goodnight, because once it, I say goodnight, they don't count. So hit that heart and let let um, Facebook know that you enjoy my videos. And if you're catching the replay, thanks so much. And if you are watching on my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. Just hit that subscribe button that's down there. And it will tell you when I post all my videos. You're very welcome, Rosemary. And Jennifer and everybody else. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I will see you Monday night at 8 o'clock here in my VIP group and on my page. And we'll be doing something fabulous, I'm sure. Don't know what it is, but it'll be there. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you soon in my craft room. Stamp and smiles. Bye for now.